I will see you tomorrow at lunch. I am looking forward to lunch and hearing about what a great boss I am. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the Office cast, Where Are They Now? I want to adopt you. Will you be my son? We loved them on The Office, but for this list, we'll be catching up with the cast and seeing what film and or TV projects have been keeping them hard at work these days. That's what she said. While putting your comments in Jello would be funny, we'd love it if you left them below instead. Number 12, Leslie David Baker. You wanna help us out with that? Stanley, Eartha Stanley. Not me. Although he was Leslie to his castmates, to The Office fans, Leslie David Baker will forever be the crossword puzzle doing, non stuttering Dunder Mifflin paper salesman Stanley Hudson. Did I stutter? Since The Office ended its run back in 2013, Baker has mostly worked doing guest spots in various shows, including nine episodes alongside Billy Ray Cyrus in the short lived CMT sitcom Still the King. All to be arrived. Any day, five hundred dollars a week ain't nothing to turn your nose up at now. What can I do for you? I'm uh, your new preacher. As he entered the 2020s, though, Baker's voice has been his moneymaker, and he's been shaking it doing work on multiple animated shows, including voicing Uncle Forknick in Doug Unplugs on Apple TV. You guys work together on this one. If I'm not in my bath with a glass of red wine in one hour, you're both dead. Number 11, Phyllis Smith. The plants are gonna love this. Yeah. On The Office, Phyllis has 12 cliched sayings she always goes to when it rains. That's more than the number of TV shows and movies Phyllis Smith has been a part of in the nine years following the final episode of The Office. Close your mouth, sweetie, you look like a trout. However, for one of them, voicing sadness in Inside Out, Smith earned an Annie Award for Outstanding Achievement for Voice Acting in a Feature Production. Why are you crying? <laughs> It's, it's just like really the opposite of what we're going for here. Crying helps me slow down and obsess over the weight of life's problems. Many of you might have also come across her while binging Netflix if one of those binge sessions included the two seasons of The OA on which Smith played Betty Broderick Allen. Do you not read your copy of the will? Rod, um, I turned my own brother into the police and they forced him into rehab and now he's dead. No. I did not read his will. Number 10, BJ Novak. Ryan uh, Howard from the temp agency. Uh-huh. Daniqua sent me down to start today. Novak's character on the show, Ryan Howard, might have started off as a temporary employee of the company, but Novak himself was anything but when it came to his participation in the show. I don't want to be like a guy here, you know? Like Stanley is the crossword puzzle guy and Angela has cats. Because not only did he act in it, he was also a producer and one of the original group of writers on the series as well. He even directed a couple of episodes. Your girlfriend's dead. I'm sorry, what did you say? She's dead. No, no, the first part. And speaking of directing, Novak made his feature film directorial debut with 2022's Vengeance, which he also wrote and starred in. This is um, Frito Pie. It's great sound. What is that? <laughs> uh, Frito pie is when they cut open a bag of Fritos and they pour chili in it, and you eat it out of the bag with a fork. Ugh, that is disgusting. Yeah, in a good way. And as far as we know, he didn't start any fires on set. Ryan started the fire! It was always burning! Everybody it was turning! Number nine, Kate Flannery. For nine seasons, Kate Flannery played Meredith Palmer on The Office. Michael, you are the reason I drink. You are the reason I live to forget. That's the somewhat promiscuous, possibly alcoholic supply relations representative, who you may recall had no qualms about flashing her breasts at work. Hey, Meredith. Heading over to Poor Richards? Yep. Cool, cool, cool. You need a ride? <sighs> And if you were wondering what she's been up to lately, we can tell you she's been working consistently since the show ended. No need to organize a fun run in support of her career. Is all of this really necessary? I mean, 
This year, no one is sneaking in alcohol. Along with guest roles in numerous television shows, she played Principal Saperstein in the Hulu show All Night and was the fifth star eliminated on the 28th season of Dancing with the Stars. She went back to school in 2022, this time playing a lunch lady in the comedy horror film The Prank. Number 8. Brian Baumgartner As much as we never want to stop watching and talking about The Office, it seems like Brian Baumgartner feels the same. At least once a year, I like to bring in some of my Kevin's famous chili. The trick is to undercook the onions. His time as part of the Dunder Mifflin accounting team ended in 2013, but Baumgartner couldn't just walk away from the role that made him famous. And who could blame him? Why waste time, say lot word when few word do trick? He hosted and executive produced two podcasts about the show, an oral history of The Office in 2020 and The Office Deep Dive with Brian Baumgartner the following year. <clears throat> Are you well, critical of yourself watching it? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? No, I'm not. I watch myself when I'm doing shows, and I'm like, oh, you're awful. That's what I think when I watch you too. But <laughs> I... if you have kids, you may have also heard Baumgartner's distinctive voice coming from Walter the Bear in Netflix's animated show Trash Truck. Mmm, birthday cake. No, no, not at all. That is meatloaf. Number seven, Angela Kinsey. To Roy, she was the blonde, tight-ass Christian chick. My name is Angela. And to Dwight, she was the love of his life. <laughs> That's good stuff. Hey, Dwight, let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Let's... Angela Martin was many things to many people, and many cats. And Angela Kinsey played her to perfection for nine seasons. I just want to make sure Princess Lady is acclimating well. She means more to me than anyone. Any cat, you mean? And person. In 2019, Angela went back to the office with her ex co worker Jenna Fisher and started the very enjoyable Office Ladies podcast. She's also remained pretty active on the small and silver screens, including recent roles in both Tall Girl movies on Netflix. I would like to see some layers around her face to accentuate that fabulous bone structure, maybe an inch or two off in the back, but leave the length. And as a panelist on MTV's Deliciousness since its debut in 2020. Do you actually put some effort, like a little sweat, into like bringing a dish to somebody's house? I put effort in. I'm older now, <laughs> on, so yeah. I know you're supposed to do that. Right. When I was young, I think I was crappy at it. Yeah. I was like, here's some tortilla chips. Yeah. I ate some. Number 6. Mindy Kaling In 2005, Mindy Kaling was a relatively unknown actor. Then came The Office and everything changed. Try on. Not at work. I'll try it on. Fashion show! Fashion show! Fashion show at lunch! Mindy started as a writer and performer on the show, but her success would quickly extend way beyond The Office walls. I'm at this point in my life where I can't just do what I want to do. You know, I had to do things that really move my life forward. She received her own show in 2012 with the hit series The Mindy Project, which proved she could carry an entire show with her comedic talents alone. Why don't you help me cut myself out of my medical gauze diaper mm -hmm. that I got during my surgery? Yeah, you know what, maybe we should just it. snuggle? Six seasons and several awards later, she has continued to flex her acting chops, most recently in multiple episodes of The Morning Show. I mean, when it comes to supporting women in this business, we are all in the same boat. What happened to her was humiliating. Kaling also really made her mark post The Office as a writer, creator, and executive producer on hit shows like The Sex Lives of College Girls on HBO Max and Never Have I Ever on Netflix. Who am I? I'm Kelly Kapoor, the business bitch. Number 5. Oscar Nunez Oscar Nunez played Oscar Martinez, the most cultured and erudite member of the Dunder Mifflin workforce on The Office. Can you imagine a life where all you have to do is summer in the Italian countryside? After the show ended, fans of Nunez didn't have to wait long to see him on screen again, as the following year he showed up as Carlos in Benched on the USA Network. Since then, he's continued to appear in various roles in movies and television. You may get painful goiter like swelling in your neck and often extreme testicular discomfort. Okay. Cool, okay. Cool, okay. Cool, cool, okay. Cool, 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 cool. And in September of 2022, he returned to an office in the made for TV movie Out of Office, followed in November with a role in the much anticipated Enchanted sequel, Disenchanted. Herbal tea. Chamomile. No! Hibiscus. You're right. 
He's right. Oh, Edgar knows everything. <laughs> Number four, Rain Wilson. I'm assistant regional manager. I should know first. Assistant to the regional manager. Yeah. Rain Wilson was nominated for an Emmy three years in a row during his run as the suit-wearing, beat-loving Dwight Schrute. If he were in accordance with our dress policy. What? But the blood-stained hands. It was beet juice! But while the show might have been the pinnacle of his on-screen life, Wilson sure hasn't seen his career suspended in jello since the show ended its run in 2013. He's the voice of Lex Luthor in the DC animated movie universe. It's no secret Superman and I had our differences, but this wasn't always the case. And in 2022, he starred in the psychological thriller Dark Minds on AMC. Come on down to Devoted Dance, where I'm devoted to three things. One, our Lord. Two, my wife here, Betty, and my little blessings. And three, selling you a glorious car at an affordable price. He was also seen on screen playing Dr. Demento in the bio-parody film Weird, the Al Yankovic Story, which had its premiere at the Toronto International Film Festival. She knows her record sales will go through the roof if you parody her. How dare you? Number three, Jenna Fisher. I'm in love with you. What? Jenna Fisher's portrayal of Pam Beasley earned her an Emmy nomination and solidified her place in television history as one half of one of the greatest will they or won't they, but we know they will couples. Listen, Jim. From Sam and Diane to Ross and Rachel to Pam and Jim. Totally Pam. Sorry. Um, are you free for dinner tonight? Yes. All right. Then it's a date. Since her time on the show, Fisher has starred in two other sitcoms, but You, Me, and The Apocalypse only got one season, and Splitting Up Together ended after two seasons on ABC. I'm sorry that I blocked your sunshine. Well, I'm sorry for whatever I said that made you highlight pages 18 through 48. Since October of 2019, it appears that most of her time has been spent making her Office Ladies podcast with Angela Kinsey. Number two, John Krasinski. My job is to speak to clients um, on the phone about uh, quantities. As was most of the cast when The Office premiered in 2005, John Krasinski was a relatively unknown actor. And then tomorrow, I can tell you <clears throat> what a great boss you turned out to be. Best boss I ever had. But that changed pretty fast, as Jim Halpert made his faces at the camera and into our hearts. And these days, Krasinski is a legit movie star. The former paper salesman directed, co-wrote, produced, and starred in A Quiet Place and A Quiet Place Part Two, And he made his MCU debut as Reed Richards in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Even your arrival here confuses and destabilizes reality. The larger the footprint you leave behind, the greater the risk of an incursion. He also plays the titular Jack Ryan in the hit series on Amazon Prime Video. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Steve Carell Speaking of legit movie stars, let's talk about Steve Carell. Wow. So many stories are running through my head right now. While he might have had prior name recognition from his time as a correspondent on The Daily Show, Carell made the jump to stardom following his undeniably brilliant portrayal of Michael Scott on The Office. I declare bankruptcy! So where is he now? Well, in just the 2020s alone, you may have seen him in the Netflix series Space Force or The Morning Show on Apple TV+. How can I be in violation of my contract? It was consensual. All I can say is that- Lisa, was it, it was consensual. And at the movies, you might have heard him as Gru in Minions, The Rise of Gru. I'm going to be the best villain ever. Or seen him in Jon Stewart's political comedy, Irresistible. You're from the town, aren't you? Yeah. You set this whole thing up. You set me up, huh? You are so fired and you're going to jail. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.